getting caught up on the background of this phenom that has uh, <laughs> been in mm. our business. Uh, so tell me about your family. Is it a musical family where you grew up with? Music lovers. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, my dad was a DJ in college, actually. Oh, no, no kidding. kidding. Lots of sure, albums, lots sure, of records sure. playing all the time. Did you have a favorite performer when you were a kid? Um, like I said earlier, I mean, I grew up with like Michael Jackson and Madonna. Um, and then when I discovered rock and roll, Queen, uh, Led Zeppelin, oh, stuff sure. like that, then, then everything changed. So what took you so long to go out and audition? You're 27 years old now, right? Yeah. Some of these kids are still in their teens when they go out on the audition, you know, for this. I know. Well, had you auditioned before? No, I didn't. It was the first time. You know, I just, I think things come up when they're supposed to, you know, timing. Uh -huh. um, sure. I was trying to pursue theater for a number of years, mm -hmm. and I got to a certain point with it, and I kind of realized, oh, I think I want to try something else. Mm. So it was, you know, it, 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 someone suggested it, and I thought, it's time for a change. It's time well, to take a big step. It happens to be true. If you become a finalist in this show, oh. it's the biggest thing in the business these it's, days. It's amazing. It's a, it's a skyrocket to, to success, yeah. you know, I if it goes well. I don't think anybody has um, achieved sort of the level of stardom um, on that American Idol stage that you have. Oh. I mean, win past winners, everyone included, I think that you have tapped into something that people were hungry for, looking for. I think, that, I think the key is some people go into the competition looking at it like a competition. Mm -hmm. And I, I think if you go into it with the perspective that, you know, this is a platform, this is an opportunity, um, I'm going to use this to my advantage, and you go in and you just focus on performing your best and competing with yourself and not with the other competitors. Yeah. They, I mean, it can really be a great experience. So what were you doing before you auditioned? You were appearing at a show, I was you? in Wicked at the in? Pantages in Los Angeles. No kidding. Yeah. It's a great show. Yeah, it's a great show. Uh, I think you're going to give an idea to a lot of people who are currently on stages all over the country saying, hey, why not go for the big television yeah. exposure thing, you know? Yeah, and well, I mean, for me, mm. too, it's like I had a rock band outside of that. I was writing my own music. So theater, I think, you know, when I first got onto American Idol, I think they kind of boxed me and, oh, he's the Broadway guy. And uh, you know, I, I think that that's kind of small-minded. I think right. that a lot of Broadway performers that are that are here in New York and that are all over the country that have talented. other types of yep. music they can do too and oh, create absolutely. all types of oh, art. Absolutely. Let me ask you a style question. Who is your style influence? Um, like the I, biggest one. Look wise or yeah, vocally? Yeah, like look wise. I don't know. I like I like that. I like fashion. I like yeah. you know like high fashion stuff. You know Alexander McQueen and uh, I just I like looking at like nice clothes. I yeah. like nice oh, things. Was, you know. <laughs> but, but but this is all part of the package, Adam. Right? Yeah. I mean yeah. the way you dress, the uh, the jewelry, Adam's the nails, fans, the eyeliner. Adam's fans are called glamberts. I know. Glamberts. <laughs> You probably don't know this. Regis's fans are called rejects. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Tell you what I do. You know, uh, I swap your ties right now. Okay, let's do it. No, I don't like <laughs> I'm, I'm game for anything. I know, yeah. I was just kidding. Look I like that tie. There's a great color well, in there. Well, I'll, I'll give it to you on your own. <laughs> it's, it's very glamorous, Regis. You have any style icons? Style icons. Yeah. Um, David Bowie is a huge mm. influence on me. Yeah, Bowie's great. Yeah. Well, what about this guy right here? Uh, well, you know, Bowie uh, kind of, that's <laughs> that, that glam rock kind of. Were these the wings from Flash Gordon circa, <laughs> circa the 80s? Remember, I, Bob I, Mackie I, did the costumes. I got that. that at a Bob Mackie showroom, so maybe that is. I'm telling you, that I, might be it. It well, looks Adam, familiar to me. And I think Lady Gaga wore something similar to that. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know it until after the fact. I saw a little printout in a magazine uh, when we were next to each sure. other, and I was like, "What?" We Could actually be. have we have our own style icon, as a matter yep, of fact. Yeah, sure do. We really do. Who's that? Um, Someone that may have uh, you may have stolen his look from. Take a look at this, everybody. Adam's going to sing for us right back in a moment. <laughs>